Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the disorders of lipoprotein metabolism. These clinical disorders may be hyperlipoproteinemias and hypolipoproteinemias. So first we will see hyperlipoproteinemias. These are further divided into primary and secondary. This primary hyperlipoproteinemias, these are genetic disorders. These are genetic disorders. Secondary are due to underlying disease process. For example, uh, thyroid, then liver and renal diseases. So, primary, these are genetic disorders and secondary are due to underlying disease process. Usually, thyroid, liver and renal diseases. So, first we will see primary hyperlipoproteinemias. There are five types. These are based on changes in plasma lipoproteins. Mainly five types are there based on changes in plasma lipoproteins. And these are proposed by Frederickson. These are type 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These are the 5 types of primary hyperlipoproteinemias. So, first we will see type 1 primary hyperlipoproteinemia. Type 1. It is familial lipoprotein lipase deficiency. Familial lipoprotein lipase deficiency. So, it is due to the deficiency of the enzyme lipoprotein lipase or it is due to deficiency of APO C2. It is uh, mainly characterized by hypertriglyceridemia that is increased triglyceride. Then hyperchylomicronemia. Hyper chylomicronemia and it is present in early childhood it is characterized by eruptive xanthomas then recurrent abdominal pain recurrent abdominal pain so it is mainly present in early childhood it can be treated by low dietary fat, low dietary fat that is type 1 familial lipoprotein lipase deficiency. Next one is type 2. Type 2 it is familial hypercholesterolemia, familial hypercholesterolemia this type 2 is uh, further divided into type 2a and type 2b type 2a and 2b uh, this, this is mainly due to ldl receptor defect ldl receptor defect and it is characterized by increased LDL and increased total cholesterol. So, it is mainly due to LDL receptor defect. It is characterized by increased LDL and increased total cholesterol. That is type 2 familial hypercholesterolemia. Next one is type 3. Type 3 is familial 
dis beta lipoproteinemia familial dis beta lipoproteinemia that is type 3 it is also known as broad beta disease broad beta disease or remnant removal disease remnant removal disease and it is characterized by increased ideal increased ideal intermediate density lipoprotein this ideal is also known as vldl remnant vldl remnant so it is characterized by increased ideal and this is uh, this uh, appears as broad beta band or floating beta band broad beta band or floating beta band that is beta vldl on electrophoresis here the defect is in remnant metabolism defect is in remnant metabolism it is uh, treated by low carbohydrate diet containing this unsaturated fats and little cholesterol unsaturated fats and little cholesterol that is the treatment option for type 3 that is familial dis beta lipoproteinemia next one is type 4 that is fam familial hypertriglyceridemia type 4 type 4 is familial hypertriglyceridemia familial hyper triglyceridemia it is characterized by increased vldl increased vldl there will be increased synthesis of endogenous triglyceride increase the synthesis of endogenous triglyceride it is seen in association with coronary heart disease then obesity maturity onset diabetes mellitus then in chronic alcoholism chronic alcoholism that is familial hypertriglyceridemia and uh, here the treatment options include low cholesterol diet and by using hypolipidemic agents hypolipidemic agents that is type 4 familial hypertriglyceridemia it is characterized by increased vldl there will be increased synthesis of endogenous triglyceride it is seen in association with this uh, coronary heart disease obesity maturity onset diabetes mellitus and chronic alcoholism treatment include low co cholesterol diet and hype, uh, hypolipidemic agents that is type 4 next one is type 5 type 5 is combined hyperlipidemias combined hyperlipidemias here in the case of type 5 the lipoprotein pattern is complex there will be increase in chylomicrons increase in vldl decrease in hdl and decrease in ldl so the pattern lipoprotein pattern will be complex Increase in uh, chylomicrons, increase VLDL, decrease HDL, decrease LDL. And there will be increased levels of triacylglycerol and cholesterol. It is mainly found in association with diabetes mellitus and obesity. That is type 5 combined hyperlipidemias. Then another disease is 
Wolman's disease. It is also known as cholesterol ester storage disease. Cholesterol ester storage disease. That is another name. It is due to the deficiency of the enzyme cholesterol ester hydrolase in lysosome. Cholesterol ester hydrolase in lysosome. It is characterized by increased cholesterol. So that is about uh, primary hyperlipoproteinemias or hyperlipoproteinemias. Next one is hypolipoproteinemias. So secondary are due to underlying disease conditions, usually thyroid, liver and renal diseases. Then next one is hypolipoproteinemias. Hypo lipoproteinemias mainly two types a beta lipoproteinemia and tangers disease so first one is a beta lipoproteinemia a beta lipoproteinemia here the defect is in the synthesis of ApoB. Defect is in the synthesis of ApoB. So, it leads to the deficiency of ApoB containing lipoproteins. That is chylomicrons, then uh, VLDL and LDL. So, there will be the defect is in the synthesis of ApoB. So, there will be deficiency of ApoB containing uh, lipoproteins. That is chylomicrons, VLDL and LDL. And it is characterized by decreased cholesterol and triacylglycerol. Decreased cholesterol and triacylglycerol. Classic form of this disease is known as basin Konsvik syndrome. basin Konsvik syndrome. That is a classic form of this disease. So that is a beta lipoproteinemia due to uh, the defect in the synthesis of ApoB. Next one is uh, next hypolipoproteinemia is Tangier's disease. That is familial alpha lipoprotein deficiency. Alpha lipoprotein deficiency so it is characterized by deficiency of hdl deficiency of hdl due to deficiency of hdl clearance of triglyceride from from plasma uh, plasma will be slow clearance of triglyceride from plasma it will be low and it results in hypertriglyceridemia. Hypertriglyceridemia. It is due to the absence of APOC2. APOC2, which is an activator of enzyme lipoprotein lipase. And this uh, familial alpha lipoprotein deficiency or Tangier's disease, it is mainly caused by mutations in gene encoding ABCA1. ABCA1 that is ATP binding cassette transporter 1, which transfer the cholesterol and this uh, phospholipid from peripheral tissues to HDL. So, if there will be, uh, if there is any mutation in the gene coding this ABCA1, that is ATP binding cassette transporter A1. The um, main function of this ABCA1 is it transfer cholesterol and phospholipids from peripheral tissues to HDL. Then uh, another defect is in 
reduction in APO A1 and APO A2. So, uh, this leads to accumulation of cholesterol esters in different tissues. Cholesterol esters. So, this is Tangier's disease. Familial alpha lipoprotein deficiency, there will be, it is characterized by deficiency of HDL. Due to the deficiency of HDL, uh, this uh, triglyceride clearance from plasma, it will be slow and it results in hypertriglyceridemia. It is due to the absence of APO C2, which is an activator of lipoprotein lipase. And it is mainly caused by mutations in gene encoding this ABCA1, that is uh, ATP binding cassette transporter A1, which transfer cholesterol and phospholipids from peripheral tissues to HDL. And the defect is a reduction in APO A1 and APO A2. As a result, it leads to um, accumulation of cholesterol esters in different tissues. So, that is hypolipoproteinemia, series of two types, abeta lipoproteinemia and familial alpha lipoprotein deficiency or Tanger's disease. So, that is about disorders of lipoprotein metabolism. This is today's topic. Thank you for watching.